Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Dog the bounty hunter just caught up with criminal Soros and unleashed justice for all of America. Dwayne Lee Chapman, more commonly known as Dog the Bounty Hunter, has traded in catching small-time criminals and is now going after the big dogs. With the help of his crime-stopping sidekick and wife Beth Chapman, the famous pair have been hunting down the man who is arguably America's biggest criminal, U.S. billionaire George Soros. They just caught up with him and delivered the most shocking dose of justice he never saw coming after what he was openly promoting. Soros has used his billions to fund a multitude of nefarious endeavors and organizations from the shadows. Operating in secrecy was to keep his fingerprints off the path of destruction and Islamization in America, as well division and discourse between races. Since he's one of the wealthiest men in the world, he's placed himself above the law, doing as he pleases and not expecting any. Since he's one of the wealthiest men in the world, he's placed himself above the law, doing as he pleases and not expecting any recourse for it. Since he's done this for decades with the only person getting in his way being President Donald Trump, he never expected that someone like Dog and Beth would have a huge hand in bringing him down. The Gateway Pundit Reports Oros, a man who has long pushed for the destabilization of American and European societies through trying to Muslimize Europe, paid for anarchist protesters to be bussed into riots across the world, worked to destabilize the American political structure, and much, much, much more, typically remains in the shadows preferring to attempt to keep his name off the records and off the books. This is not true when it comes to one of his flagitious operations, known as the Drug Policy Alliance, which openly boasts of Soros on the board. While the name of the drug policy group sounds like a positive venture of stopping the circulation of narcotics, ending the addiction epidemic, and getting addicts help with recovery, these positive ideas of improving society are not at all what Soros is funding. With his name on the board, you can expect something evil to come out of it. Rather than ending the drug epidemic, which now claims more lives than car accidents, Soros and his sick society are wanting to perpetuate it by putting more drugs and criminals on the street. Former Breitbart investigative journalist Lee Stranahan has made it his mission to expose this particularly evil plan of Soros and his drug cartel society. When he found out that the alliance was holding a press conference, Stranahan and the Chapman showed up and ruined everyone's day in the best possible way. The Gateway Pundit explains. Among George Soros' more openly nefarious plans, he is attempting to first push for the widespread use of drugs on American streets, the second part of his plan involves the release of all drug addicts from prison leading to widespread panic and chaos. And they don't even pretend to hide this objective. Beth Chapman and Dog the Bounty Hunter confronted Roseanne Scotty, senior director of Drug Policy Alliance after Scotty broke into a private press conference concerning drug policy and lured some of the press over to a corner. Once confronted by the Chapmans, Scotty proceeded to run from answering any questions. The best part of publicly calling them out on their twisted game was that Stranahan caught part of the confrontation on tape. The coverage of the encounter included when Scotty ran away like a coward trying to hide the dirty work she was doing for Soros, with Dog and Beth chasing her. Dog and Beth know firsthand the immense amount of destruction drugs have done to society after years in a career of bounty hunting catching bad guys, most of whom are in trouble with the law because of drugs. They've treated the symptoms of the problem for decades, with Soros being the source of the issue. Getting to him and his so-called drug policy alliance is a personal vendetta for the Chapmans. Despite holding a press conference about the alliance's alleged policy, Scotty was suddenly silent when she saw the bounty hunters there. Since Beth didn't get a chance to ask her questions the Gateway Pundit spoke with Chapman after to find out what she would have said had Scotty not run away from them like the criminal she is. I wanted to ask if she had ever done drugs. If she had ever had a problem with drugs, have she had ever been strung out on drugs to the point you could barely function in society? And if she said no, if she hasn't had that experience then why would she be talking like she is? People seem to forget that Wayne, Dog Chapman, and I have been dealing with these people, D-drug addicts on a day-to-day -day basis. We know who should get out and who shouldn't get out of prison," Beth told the outlet. Beth explained why this drug policy is so profitable for Soros and his cronies and why they are hell-bent on getting into this game. It could be the billionaire's biggest worst plan yet to gain total control of the country, especially when combined with the other evil conquests he has in action. They're running a scam to push for pre-trial release and steal more taxpayer money. But it's not even a problem of it just not working they are directly trying to aid and abed, and increase, the criminal element that exists on our streets right now. They're trying to achieve this by pushing that narrative that doing drugs is a disease dash it is not a disease.
the good hard-working people of America know that these are not diseases, they are choices, and continued bad choices result in addiction. Depending on the class of substance, which is heroin and opiates. Please share this to let others know what's going on in America at the hands of an evil man who has a lot to gain from it, while citizens stand to lose. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.